Hi, in this video, we're going to see how datagram networks work. First of all, a brief reminder, this is a connectionless service, which means that all messages must have source and destination addresses, and also that there is no guarantee of order datagram delivery. We will see why. This is our example network, which in this case has a source host with address A and two destination hosts with addresses B and C. We will have five routers, each of them with a combined routing and forwarding table, which will uh, tell the router how to reach uh, each uh, possible or relevant destination host, basically by telling the router where to forward uh, any received message with that destination. Each of the routers will have the corresponding uh, routing and forwarding table. So, assume that host A wants to send a message to host B, so uh, the message will have, along with the data, the destination and source addresses. This uh, message is, is going to get to R3, and uh, R3 will, is going to check its routing and forwarding table, locate address B, and know that it has to uh, forward the packet through uh, towards R1 using port 2, and it will do so. So uh, uh, router 1 will do the same operation, looking up uh, for B in the, in the table and uh, locating it and uh, knowing that it has to uh, send the packet through uh, port 3 to router R2 and R2 is going to make the same operation again, looking up the table, locating address B and knowing that it has to directly deliver the uh, message to uh, host B through uh, interface or port uh, 3. Again, if now uh, host A wants to send uh, a datagram to C, uh, the whole process repeats again, but with a different destination address. So uh, the relevant change is that now R3 looks for the address in the table and uh, knows that uh, it has to forward the uh, message, the datagram, to R4, which is in, uh, in interface 3 and it will go and, and do so, and R4 repeats the process, so it's going to check the table and know that it has to forward the message uh, to R5 using uh, interface 3, and it will do so, and R5 is going to repeat the, the process and uh, check the table and uh, know that it has to finally deliver the message to C using uh, interface 4. Simple, right? Now, which problems may we find with, with this process? For instance, what if a table changes? Imagine that now we have a little change on the uh, routing and forwarding table at R3, and now uh, the entry corresponding to C is uh, changed, as you can see in the, in the table in red. So now if A wants to send a datagram to C, now R3 is going to check the table and find the new uh, entry for address C. So now it's going to forward the message uh, through router R5 using interface 4. At router R5 nothing has changed, so it, it's going to find again the, the entry for uh, uh, address C uh, at the table and finally deliver the uh, message to see using uh, port 4. What happens here that now the path from A to C is more or less significantly shorter because there has been a change in the routing and forwarding table at R3. And the important thing here is that this change may happen between consecutive packets from A to C. So uh, a packet which is sent later may have a shorter path than a packet that has been sent earlier. This is the, one of the reasons because of which we can have an ordered delivery of packets in a datagram network.